With many students heading back to school in just a few short weeks, a special celebration today helped get them ready for the new school year. The Back to School Celebration is an annual tradition here in Rhode Island that takes place all across the state. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima explains what it's all about. She joins us now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. In its first year, 600 bags were passed out to students, but now, 19 years later, 16,000 backpacks filled with school supplies are being handed out all across the state. You're looking at one of 12 back-to-school celebrations. The annual tradition helps get kids ready for a new school year by supplying them with free backpacks and other supplies. We are trying to uplift um, our students. Doris De Los Santos is an executive board member of the nonprofit organization. Back-to-school celebrations are held in Central Falls, Cumberland, Cranston, Newport, Providence, Woonsocket, and West Warwick. We um, have been trying to stay within the urban communities in Rhode Island. Uh, because we know that there are many, many families that face uh, financial challenges and that um, a backpack and a school supplies may seem something um, of not much value for many people, but for the families that we serve, it, it means a lot. Each backpack filled with supplies is valued around $22. It's really fun getting new school supplies because it's, it's free and, it's, and you don't have to like go to stores to buy them. A former teacher himself, General Trump Treasurer Seth Magaziner says it doesn't just benefit the children and parents, it also helps educators when students have supplies. When kids come to school without the supplies that they need, it means that teachers have to dig down deep into their own pockets. The events also include resource fairs and free food. A backpack candy. I come in uh, about 10 years. It's really fun uh, to uh, come together and have a good time. Any leftover backpacks will be distributed by the United Way of Rhode Island. Reporting in Providence, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.